everybody, welcome back. Today I'm doing a little voiceover, so I hope you don't mind. I'm starting off by bronzing my neck using my Bare Minerals Endless Summer Bronzer in the shade Faux Tan. Then I'm going in with the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Primer. I'm using a very tiny amount just through my T-section, but you can use this not only as a primer, but you can mix a little bit of this with your foundation to create a lighter coverage. This is a weightless mousse-like texture and it's also infused with loads of skincare benefits, obviously the main one being hyaluronic acid, which is great at drawing moisture to the skin. This week I received some products from Code 8 Beauty and they kindly give me a discount code for you guys so I thought it was a really good opportunity to share some of their products. This is not sponsored, they were just kindly gifted. So I'm using the Day to Night 12 Hour Weightless Foundation. This really is very lightweight, it gives you just the right amount of coverage but it is buildable. If you do want more coverage you can go in with their Seamless Cover Concealer which really does pack a punch with the coverage so it is the perfect combination for natural skin. The foundation is ideal for oily to normal skin types so it suits me down to the ground and I believe it's available in around 15 shades. The finish of this foundation is kind of like a natural radiance and like the By Terry Primer, it is infused with hyaluronic acid, it also has vitamin E so it's really nice for the skin. The concealer claims to be a medium to full coverage but I would definitely say it's more full coverage than medium. And this has an ingredient in it called Glucan Biopolymer and it lifts and smooths the effect of the under eye. So I really like that the foundation is nice and lightweight and it is that medium coverage so you can still see skin through it and that the concealer does have more of a full coverage benefit so that you really can conceal those areas or imperfections in your skin and you're not left looking mask-like. Obviously in studio lighting I will apply a little bit more. You've seen I've gone in a couple of times just to layer it but one layer of this in natural daylight is more than enough, it's beautiful. But even with this layering, you'll see, if I zoom you in, that my skin is still visible through these products, but I just look that much more even and flawless. So don't forget to check out my discount code, which I'm going to link in the description bar. It's valid until the end of July, so definitely take advantage of that on all of the products that I'm using today from Code 8 Beauty. Now to set that in place and give my skin a bit more of a blurred appearance, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. So if you're looking for poreless skin, this is a really good powder. It's kind of microfine and it also has rose wax and almond oil in, so it still leaves you feeling hydrated. I've filled my brows in using my Urban Decay Brow Blade and now I'm going to move on to the eyes. This is the Burnt Sienna Eyeshadow Palette by Code 8 Beauty and as you can see you can create the perfect smoky eye with this. I'm mixing together the prime and base colour to apply this to the inner corner of the eyes. Going back into that base colour on my flat shader brush I'm applying this from the inner corner of the eye sort of almost just over halfway across the mobile lid. Then I applied a second layer and this time I added a small amount of the prime shade. Using that same flat shader brush, I'm taking this shade which is called the Highlight Shade and as you can see this is a little bit deeper in tone, a bit more bronzy and this is going from the middle of the eyelid to the outer half of the eyelid. And as you can see we are achieving the beginnings of that classic smoky eye. We've got that bright inner corner and it softly develops into a deeper shade as we get to the outer half of the eye. I'm now going into the deeper of the two matte brown eyeshadows and using my flat shader brush on the opposite side I'm now going to almost cuddle the outer corner of the top lid so a bit of a C shape and I'm just patting that round and making sure not to extend this past the eyelid. Then we're going into the lighter of the two browns and applying this on a small blending brush we're now going to smoke this out so that the seam of that darker eyeshadow looks more diffused. Whether you want to create a rounded eye or a more winged out shape, this is the time to start doing that. You don't really want to go straight in with the darker brown and start creating that shape, otherwise it can be a bit intense, whereas if you use a very light hand and a very tiny amount of that lighter brown, you can start to manipulate the shape so it looks really soft as you can see here. Then I'm taking a clean blending brush which is slightly bigger and I'm going to buff out the edges just to make sure it's beautifully seamless, this is really important. Then you can go back in with a second layer of that lighter brown eyeshadow and what this is going to do is add a second layer which is sandwiching the colours which means it's going to last longer but you can also afford to build up that intensity without it being too dark. 
The key really is to use such a light hand. Always tap off that excess product and only use very light washes of color. It may take longer to build up, but trust me, it's the best way forward when you're creating a smoky eye. Not all smoky eyes have to be completely dark and black. You can create a smoky eye with mid-tone browns and it can just look very soft and sultry and it's much more universally flattering for all age groups. Also, the mid-tone browns work really well with all eye colours. Dipping my pencil brush into the base and the prime colour, I'm going to add a subtle highlight to the brow bone. But what I love about these eyeshadows is that they are a satin finish, so you're not getting that classic heavy frosted highlight. This next step is optional. You can use a black powder, but I'm using the Code 8 Beauty Precision Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. And as you can see, the colour payoff is incredible and it's so fluid. There's no drying and no dragging of the skin. It really is so easy to work with. So this is going to be the foundation of the smoky wing. This is giving me the structure and now I'm going into a small amount of the black eyeshadow and I'm going to start smoking that out using the Anastasia Beverly Hills number three pointed eyeliner brush. And I've dipped this into the eyeshadow and then tapped off all the excess product so I have the tiniest amount and I'm using this to blend over the top of the eyeshadow and create a soft blend into that brown. Then I'm going to use my Kevin Kwan eyelash curlers to give them a little pinch and lift. The only downside with that is it does tend to expose the upper waterline a little bit. So I like to go in with my Wet n Wild dark brown liquid eyeliner just to kind of blink onto it so it gets rid of that pinky tone and it makes the root of the eyelashes look a lot fuller. And the upside to this is it dries so it doesn't print down on your lower eyelashes. This week I purchased this Gucci mascara. As you know, I love the Le Bouton one, but it is double the price of this particular mascara. So I wanted to give it a go to see how it compared. And it really is lovely. I've only used it twice, so I feel like I need to be using it for a couple of weeks to really be able to compare it. But so far I really like it and it is so black. I am currently going for a bit of an eyelash shed. So I'm gonna pop on these Swede Nikki Makeup No Lash Lashes. Coming from above, I'm going to drop about five of these lashes across the entire length of my eye on top of my mascara to give a little bit of a lift. I'm not even gonna go over these with any mascara. I'm just gonna leave them looking quite soft and wispy. They are dovetail lashes, so they give you a nice spiky look. Along my waterline, I'm gonna apply this gel eyeliner by Eskido. This is a lovely brown and it really stays put. Once it's on, it does not move. So if you're somebody that struggles with keeping eyeliner in place, give these a look. I also have a discount code. If you use the code SHONA at the checkout, you'll get 15% off, even off of their eyelashes too. On a small smudger brush, I'm taking the darker of the two browns and placing that underneath my lower eyelashes. This is going to frame the eye and give a really sultry, soft, smoky finish. And then I'm gonna finish off the eyes with one coat of the Gucci mascara. Again, I will link everything in the description bar. To add a little bit of contour to the sides of my nose, I'm using the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. This is my favourite powder for shaping and sculpting the face. And then I'm just pressing over that using my sponge. For bronzing, I'm going to use my favourite powder, which is the Endless Summer Bronzer by Bare Minerals. You know it by now, I use it in nearly every single video. Because the shade Photan is slightly cooler, you can use it to hollow out the cheeks or you can use it to actually bronze and warm up your skin. It is more of a neutral finish. If you want a warmer bronzer, then try the shade Warmth. For blush today, I'm using the shade Sunkissed by Nude Sticks. This is part of the Nudies Matte range and I'm going to apply most of it to the back of my hand and then I'm going to stamp my brush into it, which is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Brush. And I'm going to softly stipple over my cheeks and a little bit over the bridge of my nose to give that beautiful sunkissed appearance. And again, I have a discount code. I am full of them for you today. This one is Shona20 for 20% off nudesticks.com. They do ship internationally. So if you are in the UK, you can still use the discount code. And equally, if you're in the US or Canada, you can also take advantage of the discount code. This lipstick by Code 8 Beauty is beautiful. This is a collaboration with influencer Lydia Millen and this is a bespoke lipstick that they made together. It's a satin finish and as you can see, it's this beautiful peachy nude. I believe though that this one might only be available at Harrods, but I am gonna link it below for you. 
if you follow my last few tutorials you know I've religiously been using this this is the Elevated Glow by Lisa Eldridge if you've got some spare pennies or a birthday coming up as soon as this comes back in stock get your hands on it if you're looking for a highlighter that doesn't accentuate any fine lines or wrinkles and in fact tightens the skin because of an ingredient that's in there get your hands on these because they are fantastic they are not frosted they just make the skin almost look like it's got this natural bouncy glow and I'm totally in love with them. And that completes today's makeup tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. It really is a nice take on a classic smoky eye that is not heavy. Obviously you don't have to do the smoky wing, that's completely up to you. Don't forget to take advantage of all the discount codes in today's video. I will list and link everything in the description bar and I'll see you next week. Bye!